Brian here today. I got the Mongo Scatty. I'm pretty stoked about it. So I just thought I'd do a little video to show it off a bit and compare it to the underground knife. Show you the leather. Oh, and also show you uh, the machete. But uh, here's the Scatty. It's quite a handful. I don't think it's actually 3 sixteenths. It's a little bit thinner than the underground. I didn't measure it. Maybe it's the same thickness as a bushcrafter. It's got a six and a half inch blade to the handle scale. Probably six and a quarter or so of an actual cutting edge. It's got three loveless bolts in it. The big 3 8 lanyard tube. It's hard to see. I don't know if this will focus in on it or not. But it's got some thin black liners in there. It's got a real nice grind. LT, if you're the one that ground this, you did a real nice job. Plunge line comes together nicely on it. Super flat. I think you can see the reflection of the edge there in the polish. I think that's there. It's got tips real nice. It's got a slight distal taper towards the end. Like Scooter said, told me it's a it's a handful of sharp, and it is. <laughs> it's got a nice contour. Never use that grip, but it always looks good to have a knife like that held that way. Uh, here's the underground. It's got the shovel stamp highly polished edge can't remember the actual measurement of the blade there's the horse on there three loveless bolts that's a full 3 16 blade it's got the thick orange liners nicely contoured handle it's fatter fatter than the scatty this one's way handle heavy compared to but the scatty is almost it's pretty much perfectly balanced on my first finger makes it feel me it feels lighter than the uh, the underground I don't know if it actually is I don't think it is but the way it handles and you know it feels lighter but the underground's pretty striking I showed it to a friend of mine the other day and he's he knows how much I spend on knives and stuff and he automatically he almost didn't believe me that I paid 200 bucks for this he couldn't believe it he thought it was he thought it was way more expensive than that but man the scatty sweet that's one heck of a camp blade fighter survival you could do a lot of that stuff with this blade. This thing's nice, man. They wouldn't drop it off today because of the uh, the amount it was insured for. So I had to go to the post office and pick it up. <laughs> Here they are compared to a bushcrafter. Quite a bit of difference. Quite a bit. The Scandi Bushcrafter Suite with the natural canvas. I like this thing. Great handle. Super sharp. This thing cuts like mad. But here's the sheath that Dan made for the Mongo. I don't know how how the focus is going to work on this thing. Not sure what the little leaf is right there. Real even stitching all the way around got some nice dye around it nice and even so I'm gonna set up a baldric carry for it sits nice and deep in there doubt this thing will ever you don't have to worry about this thing coming out of here especially if it's on a baldric so then it's not you know it's gonna move with the weight of the knife 
It's got <clears throat> definitely multiple carry options as far as you know where you can attach the lanyard or lash it to a pack or however you want to do it. I'm not sure what they're actually calling the sheets for the underground, but I know it's the one that came with the Pathfinder. It's got the leather on the back, multiple attachment points there, the fire steel loop is in there. You can piggyback onto it, you can take it off, hook it up with a tech lock, however you want to do it. Locks in there with a nice click. And of course the Bushcrafter has the, uh, the JRE. Bushcrafter sheath, probably my favorite sheath of all time for any knives. Just love that sheath. Love the quality, the leather, the whole deal. Notice the newest batch does have a thinner D ring than the originals, but it should still be plenty strong. And here's the Mayshet. Came out sweet. The lock feature here is slick. I mean, it just, it's perfect. When you pull the knife, it actually draws it in, makes it even tighter. You can see here how it's opened up to let everything go through. Riveted in there with the little plastic spacers. It's got a nice thick leather, leather dangler loop on there. Fits in there great. Love it. Love the ring it makes when it comes out of the sheath. Gotta love that. BHK Outdoors. The green and black canvas is awesome. It's probably one of the only machetes you'll find on the market that comes hair popping sharp. This thing, man. It's got a wicked edge on it, man, for a machete. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I love it. And the handle, in pictures it looks like the handle's real skinny, but I mean it is thin, but it's a nice handful. It's got that nice, uh, that pommel on there, that beak on there is not going to let it slip out of your hand for sure. You can, you know, get a relaxed grip on it and then tighten up right before you're hit. You can hold it, choke up a little further, go even further once again, and you can also get up here into the Ricasso when it doesn't really have a plunge line but you can get up on there have your middle finger in here if you really wanted to get up in there for some close shaving does work on the fire steel good as advertised it is squared off right here rounded at this portion it's just got a sweet belly to that thing man look at that haven't really chopped or cut too much with it, but it sure wreaks havoc on a water bottle. So, uh, water bottles beware. But you gotta love that thing. There were people out there that were skeptical on some of the forums about the handle. Not at all. I wouldn't worry about that at all. This thing's super comfortable. Way comfortable. But I don't want to do the video too long. But, uh,. I was stoked to get this thing today. I'll tell you what. How's that for a package? Look at that sheath. You ever seen a sheath like that? <laughs> Mongo Scatty. And the Underground, the Mayshet, and that Scandy Bushcrafter. Man, that's probably the best month I've had in knives ever since back when I was collecting high dollar custom folders but uh, never used any of those so these will all get put to some good use so it has more of a practical sense to them uh, just wanted to show these off to you thanks I appreciate it later